G'day, you got Mark from Aussie Heads and Race Engines here again. Uh, this is this 253 we've got her out of the asset tank. As you can see, all our components have just, it's all been stripped and just through the tank once. It was, remember, sludged up to the max that bad that these were all fully chocked up, remember. Um, the oil, back, oil couldn't get back from the heads, it was all fully chocked up. So, just have a look here too where the um, castings dags are. Some castings blocks are really rough, so I'm just going to bust that lightly back with the die grinder. You can see here, look at that, that's just all rough casting, so I'll bust that back and get it to flow a little bit better. Um, the crankshaft, like I said, that's come out of the tank, and you can see just from the contamination of the lack of oil changing, she's really, really, really scratchy, so we're going to go 10 10. This old mate starts up the cruiser outside. And there's the manifold. Just everything's just been stripped and put through the tank. Um, little couple of things, that, like there's the oil um, pump drive shaft has um, been taken out here so you can get to the galleries. The gallery plugs are all removed. I remove all gallery plugs. Even remove all the dowels so I can sand everything back to block dowels for decking. There's a broken bolt there and there in it, they're gone. Um, also there the heads, they come up, you know, just out of the tank. They now get sandblasted, or uh, well, crack tested sandblasted. We put guides, going to put the hardened valve seats in the exhaust, the unleaded and brand new exhaust valves. Um, the rocket covers, remember how sludge they were. So, and the sump, so that's just the first. You know, it's only one day, so it all goes back again, and, and then I thoroughly wash everything in hot soapy water to finish off. So that's um, that's how we do it. The con rods, the pistons have been pressed off the rods. Um, before you put knock your um, pistons out of your block, always number. Let me get it in there. Right, number your rods and the cap. Um, don't don't mix them up because if you mix them up. They're all individually book, well, honed or bored, uh, the big end in the factory for each one. So um, if you get them mixed up, you're going to have one that will lock up on a pin. When you get to assemble it, yeah, she, won't, um, she won't turn. So there can be 64 in a V8 if you mix them up, 64 different ways. So, you know, you can do it, but by looking at the different um, Chamfers, chamfers and there's tiny little machine marks you can match them up but it takes hours so number everything check all your main caps most blocks have got um, numbers cast into the caps they're in, they're in their tank but um, let's get back after the block yeah um, but just check and number everything if you're not sure other little things too when you're pulling stuff apart if you, you know you're not sure how you're going to go back draw yourself a diagram you know even professionals, mate, and some of the stuff we have to do, you know, you, you're better off, you know, covering your ass. And um, you've got no dramas then when you go to put things back together. So um, that's all we'll do for now. And um, we're going to blow the block, grind a crankshaft, and um, start cleaning up some stuff, do some machine work on the head. So I'll try and keep a few of these videos going as I can go along and um, get you into some um, more trips. Uh, tips and tricks, especially assembling, because there's a few little things here and there that we can all learn. So, um, for now, that's all. Catch you later.